Okay, y'all. So at the beginning of the spring, we planted this Vigo garden. Um, I wanted to make sure that this this one right here was just chock full of different type of perennials. I want it to be an herb garden. And needless to say, it has produced. So I have looked up how to save our lemon grass and I'm going to dehydrate the best I can um, our pineapple sage. So we are going to do that first. Actually, no, scratch that. I planted something that I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have because we we don't necessarily eat it, but um, my boyfriend works at a place where they absolutely love it. So I'm going to pick what I planted for some of his friends and let me go show you what it looks like. So um, I love, 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 peppers and hot sauce and if you will take a gander at these brightly colored peppers we are going to glove up and pick all of those peppers there are two kinds and let me tell you about the two kinds we have carolina reaper and ghost pepper um they are extremely extremely hot and i really just wanted to grow them um just because I just want to say that I've grown Carolina Reaper and Ghost Pepper. So I have gloves over here. And this is also my like herb picking kit. I'm going to put them in this sack. And there is thunder. Make sure your finger's not in the way. It's not. Okay, cool. Your finger. <laughs> Mama's doing the video today, y'all. So it's a great day. So we are going to pick these peppers. And look. He's looking for a place to escape because he cannot stand. He wants, to be... he, he wants to be like right up in here underneath you. But so, anyway, it is time to get all this. Yes, it is because it frosted last night, right? Right. I'm pretty sure it was very cold this morning. And we also need to get all of the loofahs over here because that was an accidental plant, wasn't it, Haley? I don't know. I, I honestly could not tell you how a loofah plant got in here like it was I don't know I have no idea anyway I'm wearing gloves because as you know these are some of the hottest peppers on the, the like Scoville scale of hotness I'm picking the green ones and everything um, and then after I get done picking them I'm just gonna chop down the plant um, just because these are annuals and the majority of pepper plants are annuals in the region where we live so I'm just picking these and we're just having a great time so the good thing about putting your, your markers near your plants is you know what is what because I think these peppers look super similar but I finished off our ghost peppers, so that's what's in this bag with the marker because I don't know if, if I'm going to plant these again. Um, I'm still a little undecided if I'm going to try to like save these seeds. Um, maybe like keep one or two and just see how it goes. Um, and I'm just, I'm picking them all. Actually, the, the Carolina Reefers, they didn't do as good. They did not do as good. I don't know if it's just because, like, we don't have that much humidity. Like, like, like we just had heat this summer, I think. Um, or it could be where that was just so overgrown that it didn't get all the light it needs. But we are just picking till our heart is content. Um... I know my boyfriend's buddies are going to be so happy because all of all of their wives cook with a lot of these peppers. Um, yeah, so we're just giving back basically. Now that the peppers are taken care of and I have them right here to go to wherever my father decides. Um, now that we're going to tackle the lemongrass. So I've watched a YouTube video of um, someone preserving it and I'm going to show you what they basically showed me. So 
you're going to come down here and I'm just going to take maybe two of these little chunks. Here, you don't, yeah, yeah, go sorry. Down. Yeah, it's okay. So, what she did was we're going to get rid of all the short leaves. We don't necessarily need them. We just want the long ones. And what she did, she did her, she did her fist. And then she hacked it, like, like so. She bent it. And then she did it again. Alright. Then she takes the rest of the, the bendy part of the leaves. And she wrapped them around and towards the bottom. Then whenever she gets to the bottom, she wraps it around her finger. Sorry, my fingers look awful. And then through this little hole right here, she puts the rest of the leaves through. So it basically just holds it in place. And, oops. There you go. It's not perfect, but it's what she is. And I have my practice one right here. Um, the thing I, I think that I am struggling with is just that the ends of mine are a little dry. Because we did have that frost. But I'm going to try to cut down all this and tie it as I go. Maybe I can uh, tap my mom in to assist. But that's what we're doing. So what I'm doing now is pretty much the same process. We have went through pretty much half of the Vigo right now. Um, and it smells amazing. That's one thing I love about Herb Gardens is the process of preserving it and kind of going through it smells amazing the majority of the time. Um, we have a lot of little... I don't know what to call them and not flag us on TikTok. Um, I mean on YouTube. But we have a lot of those done. Various sizes. Pick one loofah and some cilantro. Cilantro. And so we're just still tying. It's been a process. And the next up we'll be tying together our um, pineapple sage and our lemon basil. I found it in, in the back of the Vico. <laughs> Who knew? Um, and we're going to show you how we are going to kind of sort of bulk dry these in a um, work smarter, not harder way while my father is building a herb rack this, this winter. So, so yeah, stay tuned for that yes, YouTube. That'd be cool. Um, but anyway, so we're just tying these. I'm beginning to be a pro at it. I don't know how we're going to use this, per se. So if you have any ideas on how to use lemongrass, drop us a comment. Please. <laughs> yeah, because we have a lot of it. And Maybe. what are you going to do with some of this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for segueing into that. <laughs> so, um, even though um, a lot of these plants are perennials, I'm going to use our leftover, um, I guess, like, discards of the lemongrass, and I'm just going to put it like mulch or straw on the Vigo. Um, the lady on the video that I watched, and I, do, I don't know how to tag her, um, or I don't know really what video it was because I've watched several at the moment, but she put the majority of, of her stalks in water and, like, water propagated it, but... I think we have enough, <laughs> and we, we don't we don't need to water propagate any this year. Um, we might try that next year, um, but this is what we're doing. I've got more to cut. Yeah. So I've gotten some grass string, and oh. we're just going to tie these together in big bunches. Um, just because we have our dehydrators kind of sort of dedicated already. Um, so we're just going to tie these off as tight as we can. And you always do things in, in twos. So if you knot one, you got to knot it twice. If you go around it, you got to go around it twice. Something my father has taught me. And now then, this oops, is going to be ready to tie up on our horseshoeing stock. I don't think dad has to do anything with them right now. So that's going to be our perfect drying spot. So let me get my other fresh string. And fun fact, 
if you ever have like a bunch of grass strings laying laying down pull them by the knot and it, it shouldn't knot up the bunch so it's a little hack a farm hack i think should i half this again i would thank you for your counsel mother that's what i'm here for baby Alright, so we're gonna line up these ends. And that pineapple sage, oh my gosh, gosh it smells so good. so good. Again, I don't know what we're gonna use it for. I'm gonna see. I love tea. Yes. Love it. So if we can dry these, we might be able to post them on our new farm shop. Yes, so if you go to our website, we have um, different like digital downloads right now. Um, I'm just kind of sort of testing the waters with those, but I'm hoping that we can expand to physical products soon. So we will be able to ship some of our like loofah seeds or loofahs. And that's going to be very, very exciting. And even some of our pineapple sage. Mm -hmm. Pineapple sage. We may make teas. That's that's my like ultimate goal with our herb garden is to make teas, just because we love tea. So this bunch is done. And we put that right there. That way. And I gotta get another little. Farmer's friend. One last bunch. And what we're going to do with the rest of this lemongrass and the ends is we're going to use it as, who are we? All in the, we're going to use it as compost and um, go ahead and put it back on the Vigo. Um, and then we'll come back in there with our straw and stuff like that and cover the rest of it up. Get it ready for winter. Get it ready for winter. Unless you want to plant something else in it. No, I think I've got where I want to plant my garlic. Alright. So that's done. So let's see. Does that need anything else? Do you want to do anything else with that? No, I, I, think, think, it's, I think it's it's pretty fun. good. So we're gonna get this back on here. Oh, hey, you forgot the oh, uh, bee balm. You forgot to tie it up. Bee balm and um, bee bee balm and bee basil. Ha ha. Yeah, that's that pile. We're gonna dry it just like she was gonna dry her pineapple sage. Yes. Um, just because. I'm not 100% sure how we're going to use it, so <sighs> work smarter, not harder. We'll do bulk. Um, but the good thing is that it is grown, and we can just group it by the purple stems. This one smells so good. And we shall see how it dries. I'm just going to dry it all together. Get the loofah out of it. Let me tell you, that loofah is everywhere. Absolutely. Everywhere. I know. You have visitors. They are so nosy. They just want to be in the middle of everything. And they're coming down here to be in the middle of everything. I know. They kind of mess with so Haley. They are docile, though. I mean, you, you hear horror stories of, like, peacocks being, like, like so mean but I mean we we have really been so lucky blue and gray have been so nice and in turn their babies trust us and they are so nice um so we're thinking the babies are two boys and a little girl so they unfortunately I'm not I don't feel like I want to get rid of one of my adults yet um just because they are so nice so they will be 
probably going to a sale um, next year, maybe. Or, um, or if I can find them a home somewhere else, um, just because of everything that's been going on with like the avigen flu and stuff like that. Um, we may just post them on like Facebook or maybe our website. Who knows? We may sell chickens on our website. Anyway, I, I actually call them glorified chickens. That's their, that's their nickname I've given them. Because they kind of get on my nerves. They're into everything. Yeah. They're worse than the dogs. Honestly. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go over here to the shoe stock and tie these up. And then I've got to go to a photography session. So that's it for today, y'all.